What is up, people? This is Stealth Ranger 77 here, back with another video. How you doing, guys? I hope you enjoyed the previous gameplay from a couple days ago. Um, I had a good time doing this, and likewise, this is another example of an arena gameplay, although just by myself, not with any of my teammates. And as you can see, um, my face is in it. Uh, still as ugly as it used to be, though, so that's a downside. <laughs> but today guys we are doing an arena gameplay capture the flag which is a bit different than hardpoint and SD from what you've seen previously so you'll notice that there are a couple differences in this gameplay and what I'm doing today is I'm doing a commentary over my previous gameplay to show you what I uh, my mindset is during certain steps in the game uh, what I'm doing right what I'm doing wrong and uh, just sort of giving you tips and tricks towards uh, tactics going into arena mode when you're playing against better players competitively. And so to start off, um, during this game you will notice that I'm not running Blast Suppressor. That is because in the Abandon Protect system, which is uh, uh, pre-game if you're unaware of it, you get the option, each player gets the option to ban or protect um, anything in the game. And one of the players in the enemy team decided to ban Blast Suppressor. So you will see me not using that and that is why. Uh, the gun that I'm running is the MA with the ELO sight. Um, stock, grip, not grip, sorry, stock, quick draw, and rapid fire. Um, I'm not sure if game battles uh, rapid fire has been banned or not, but uh, that was really loud. Freaking computer. <laughs> um, stop it! You're interrupting me. Anyways, um, but you'll see me running that because uh, it helps me get off burst faster, and as to my kill streaks, you will see hardened sentry, hellstorm missile, and the guardian, which help to protect the flag and also play offense with as well because I think the best offense is defense and the best defense is offense if that makes any sense and then with psychosis um, being my ability of choice especially in CTF because it really discombobulates the enemy team when you're a flag carrier and you'll see that that will effectively be used during this gameplay so from here let's get it started I'm sorry it's been a while but uh, let's get into it and so right away you're gonna see me go off the bat um, running up the middle I, I fail about 17 and a half G slides, so you'll see that, which is which is rather unfortunate. And um, I saw my team co teammate covering up top, so I figured he was going to provide a little bit better suppressive fire. But unfortunately, that's 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 not the case. And in CTF, there is an eight second respawn delay, um, which can be extremely useful if you can clear out the enemy team. So that is one of the main things you want to do. And from here, um, I see your enemy pick up our flag. I see a teammate pushing out around the other side, so I'm assuming he's pushing around this side. Um, and so my teammate takes out that guy, thank god, and I'm able to get him off once again because of rapid fire. I think that really helps in clutch situations like that. I'm able to pick up this guy, and from here, um, just trying to get a secondary with a submachine gun, um, so I have closer range battles. I wasn't a huge fan of that, uh, gunfight, even though I was, I, I was in the lead, I saw my teammates push from the other side, so, uh, I figured I should just back off, um, to protect the flag a little bit more. And um, from here, I see that um, I hear an enemy bunker, um, but I've already committed to the middle of the map, so I'm trying to push from here, uh, just trying to pick up the flag, get some momentum so that it I'm not playing towards quiet. their play style, but they're playing towards us. Um, and so I have my psychosis, I noticed that, and um, during this game, uh, during this battle, I don't really have to worry about it. Uh, but in this one, as you can see, it comes out really clutch, also, um, not only when... Uh, during battles, but it just, it really discombobulates, and you can actually use your clones as a shield if you play it well, and right there, that was a good example of that, and unfortunately, there's a little bit of dead space here, because I'm just waiting for my teammates to clean up the enemy uh, with the flag so we can return it, and we can get it back, so I'm just covering my lines of sight, um, trying to play it clean with a head glitch, um, as safe as I can. I'm not playing the exact back of the map, because it's, it's a little bit more open back there. Catch that guy off guard. Um, Nice 200 point pickup there with the flight capture. Um, it's pretty hard to kill me at this point just because of um, the lines of sights that I'm watching and my other teammate covering me. Um, I noticed that I have my Hellstorm. We flew out of two of their enemy teammates. So um, I'm hoping that they can pick up the uh, flag bring back here in a second. Like I said, it's going to take about seven years. I get tired and I just launch it. And, and that is the second that my teammate kills him, which is cool. <laughs> but I think it worked as a good distraction. And from there we get the first flag capture, which puts us on the board. It's crucial in CTF to get that first flag capture. I noticed my teammate died back there, so I back up a little bit. This guy tosses a flash. I lay down my hardened sentry to try to provide a little bit of cover. 
I'm just trying to play my life at this point. And I'm able to clear out that guy. Hardened Sentry is just, not only is it really good on Stronghold, but in CTF, it's it's just great because they have to focus on taking out, they have to focus on taking out the turret before they focus on getting the flag, unless they're running, um, whichever, I forget which perk, I think it's, is it Cold-Blooded? I think it's Cold-Blooded that would prevent, prevent that. Here, guy up top. I think I was running Awareness. I could not tell you for 100% sure. I think I subbed because of Blast Suppressor. I ran Awareness, which is really useful in this. Still running Dead Silence because I like playing quiet, especially when you only have four teammates on the ground. So there's not as many sounds going on. From here, um, I started to push because I realized that, you know, uh, we pretty much have the enemy team pinned back on their spawn near a bunker and... Uh, back behind mansion so we're in a good spot right now especially with my hardened sentry and guardian up there protecting the flag it's gonna be pretty tough um so if they take those out i'm gonna hear it and uh it's like like i said we got them pinned back pretty far back here so he's just trying to you know play till the end of the half I'm able to pick up two kills there and because of the timer i, I figured it's safe to pick up the flag um pop the psychosis um uh, my teammate helped me out there hardened sentry clears the flag which is super nice um, running pretty well here in the first half, um, but I've, and I'm trying not to G-slide because I don't have Blast Suppressor, so I'm trying to avoid jumping as much as I can, and like an idiot, I do not slide into that. I should have slid into that, that's, that's, that was my main problem, and even thought about it, I was like, oh, the flag should be clear, I'd, I'd be alright, but it wasn't, and I died. The theater had a little bit of lag, but I literally died about like two inches away from that flag cap if I saw it it was like it was like literally the flag was here and this is where he brought it back and it was so annoying good example here is being patient and um, knowing that I have the advantage he doesn't see me so I wait to get proper shots on him with before just popping him a little bit preemptively um, and I'm able to pick up that other guy with some good shots on um, so right now I'm just trying to play to the end of the half and we are able to clear it out there um, so unfortunately we're only up 1-0 this half because I was silly and did not slide into the flag so no matter what even if you think you're clear slide into that cap just to make sure because you're a harder target and obviously I was standing up there and it got me killed and if um, not gonna spoil the results but you know if you come in a close situation each flag cap counts and if it ever got to the point where we needed that that one extra flag and that was the difference between tying um, and winning or then it'd be a, a big deal. I'm just letting there because I realize it's at the beginning of the round and it doesn't make a huge difference if they can see my ping. Um, and so I hear this guy coming around the side because of awareness, really useful. Yeah, guy honestly should have killed me. Um, <laughs> I, I didn't play that very well. And so from here, I see my teammates holding down a little bit of right side. I got a, a teammate pushed up um, far right. So I use this mainly to just to see where the enemy was at. And I was going through my kill streaks already, so I just wanted to clear them out. And our teammates able to get this cap. I see him pushing through. And from here we get the second cap. We get the second cap of the game. And so now we're in a really good position um, because we clear out the enemy team, so they're spawning back um, all the way back on the other side of their map. So they really have to push now. They have to get aggressive. So if we can just start playing our lives and um, picking up kills, we can put them in a bad spot and trap them just like we did the first half. And I pick up this M8, which means, I don't know, honestly, I, I shouldn't have, I mean, it doesn't hurt to pick it up, but always make sure if you pick up a weapon, that if you still have um, ammo on your weapon, that you're using the main one. Once again, you see Psychosis really picking it up, helping out with my teammate, distracting the enemy there. Super useful in Capture the Flag. Super useful. The only thing is that sometimes the drones aren't consistent with the direction they run, so you want to make sure you're using it in an open area and not bouncing them off a wall. Honestly, should have died there. Thank God he ran out of bullets. Um, I grabbed this flag, and I figured that there were enough enemies dead, and one guy's pushing our flag. So I'm clear to use a little bit of boost here. Um, and I see my teammate pushing up, so he's got my back there. Our flag has been returned. Teammate returned our flag. Uh, one guy in their mansion, but our teammate's able to clear him out. So I jump straight over and slide into it properly this time. I actually did it right. <laughs> and from here... Um, I don't see it, say at this point I thought the game was sealed, hence the reason why I used my Hellstorm straight off the bat, which was just silly of me. Always make sure that um, team kills are on, so you got to be wary of when you use that, and that probably wasn't the best usage of that. Um, 
But I figure um, the game was pretty much sealed because I dropped my hardened sentry back in there, which is literally the best spot for the hardened sentry because it's right by the flag. Not much they can do. Um, so if you're playing against a team that's running kill streaks like that, I'd suggest you run an EMP class um, so you can just take care of those kill streaks because that would be very very useful and it's a, it's a game changer if they get those up and hence the reason why they've had a hard time playing against me see this guy in the back of their spawn uh, I don't know why that guy just killed his teammate probably shooting through him um, and then from here I'm going to the grab the flag, flag. Um, I see some enemies over there but I figure I'm pretty clear but I pop this anyways just to make sure and as you can see, it distracts that guy back there. He has no idea what's going on. <laughs> He's still shooting at him. Um, and so this is just goes to show, once again, how useful Psychosis is if you plan on being Flag Runner, uh, which I had decided for myself before the map. Once again, slide in, making good plays. I don't even see this guy until the last second. And the Wombo Combo of the Guardian and the Sentry is able to take him out. We're up 4-0 at this point. Um, so they're, they're getting their butts handed to him pretty well. And... I have good teammates, that's one thing I can't complain about this match, is that we had really good teammates here. I gotta get some good shots on me. Slid in an improper time. That's one thing I would tell you to avoid is sliding and um, sprinting if you can. Because um, it just hurts your gunfights. I'm running fast hands, but it doesn't make up for everything, especially with a burst automatic weapon in medium to close gunfights. You want to be wary of that. And I'm pretty sure this guy comes back to challenge. Don't do that. If you're, you know, you're below 50% health and a guy's got an M8 on you, he's probably still looking lose. at you, so you probably shouldn't don't. peek it. Um, so don't do that. And from here, we're just sitting in a really good position. And so I'm just trying to play um, a little bit more offensively just to keep them on their toes, you know, because if we can hold their flag, there's nothing they can do about capping. And at this point, I was confident enough in my teammates and um, their gun skill and my gun skill to take care of them if uh, if they decide to rush us and unfortunately I get shot in the back there, a guy spawned in the back corner wasn't much I could do at that point waiting for the respawn and from here the game is pretty much over, I mean it's 5-0 we've been spawn trapping them pretty much the entire game oh what happens here, oh yeah that's right I, I if I recall <laughs> my teammate blows up his C4 um, I have no idea why like I don't know if he armed it himself, or if he just accidentally shot it, but I was kind of just like, bruh, <laughs> I, was, I was upset at the time. But as you can see, uh, we were able to get a clean 5-0, give the enemy team a good old goose egg, and end the match properly. So I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay and the face cam. Uh, I'm pointing at the screen. It looks like I'm pointing in the opposite direction. But, yeah, the face cam over commentary of what was going through my head. Um, good things, bad things, a couple tips and tricks. So I hope you enjoyed the gameplay, and I will see you all guys at a later date. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you all later.